Here she is, the heart going back in. All I gotta do is hook it up to these motor mounts right here. One on either side and then the motor will be in and I can wire some stuff up and keep rolling. Here guys, we got Tim Gentry, the diesel man himself. 60 bucks, fan saddle parts. You gonna pump the radiator cap off of it? on the 12 valve again and she is leaking really bad after work today there's about two gallons of coolant laying underneath it let me see if i can get a shot of the leak in here oh yeah see it's coming up right in there right at the bottom of the water pump so all you got to do on this thing is take the belt off the pump is right here Two bolts hold it in. Let's get it switched out. I got a brand new one. They had one I advanced for 60 bucks. Here guys, we got Tim Gentry, the diesel man himself. Guys, go check out his YouTube channel, Gentry and Sons Trucking. He just hit 100,000 subscribers. There's a link in the description. He's a great down to earth dude and does the cool things like drive Garrett's Toter around and a bunch of other awesome rigs. Talking about how he screwed up his, what? Brand new 6.2 liter no. Sierra. Put a cam in it, 200 miles on it, and they're having issues. You brought it back to the other and they won't cover it under warranty? It's not covered that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's helping me out with the truck here. I got this old pump out. And uh, it's probably the ring that went bad. The O-ring here. So here's the fresh unit. Got a new O-ring around here somewhere. Oh, there, there it is. That wheel. Oh, what? what the heck? Oh, that was a disaster Dude, waiting I to happen. I've never seen that happen. That's crazy. Well, there's the issue right there. Wonder if Look it's how from warped it is. I wonder what it's from. No, wait. Oh my God, them bearings are gone. I wonder if that'll stop any of the vibrations from the old 12 valve pumping along. Probably not. Check out this unit. That thing's sexy. 60 bucks. Fan saddle parts. You gonna pump the radiator cap off of it? I gotta get this thing back in because I gotta go pick up Caroline from the airport. Here in Florida, all you gotta do is use water. Well, I done screwed up. If you can see right there, the wire's pinched on the uh, new water pump, and so I'm not getting a tack signal and it's not shifting. Well, here's my quick fix. A couple buck connectors, and we're good to go. Get this stuck back in there, make sure it's not sitting against that wheel. Well, this is what it looks like with the dash pulled out of here. My plan is to mount the leash about right here for the relays and then probably keep the terminator and the switch box in its place because it's mounted pretty decently. I'll probably relocate the 12 volt and the ground terminals to somewhere maybe on the firewall or back up under there just to kind of tighten up a little bit of these wires because it was down here. I just want to clean all of this up plug some of these holes and get the car ready for the motor to go back in. Okay, here's how I'm gonna lay out the electronics on the plate. This is my main switch pa relay panel and then these are gonna be for the race pumps. I'm doing it this way because this is the input from the battery and I wanna keep those close together. Now these are all each one of the outputs for the relays going to whether it's the radiator or the water pump or the, the uh, compressor or the water intercooler pump, everything close together. This is my first time ever fabricating something and let alone my first race car. And this has kind of been the spirit of the build. I didn't know a lot about building cars and racing and things like that, but I decided to just go for it. And that's kind of my point of this message right now is just go for it, people. I mean, I had pretty entry level car knowledge. I knew about a lot of cars. I've driven a lot of cars, but this has been like my real first race car. And so if you're thinking about it or you're just sitting there watching this video, let this be your motivation. Just get out there and go for it. For instance, this is my first time using one of these to cut my, to cut this plate that I'm gonna mount my electronics on. Just do it. Line it up, square it off, get everything measured out in centimeters because that's the right way to do it, not inches. Let's
let's put these on there and see how this looks. Looks pretty decently square. The plan is to have everything about two centimeters apart from all the edges in each unit here. So it'll look something like this. Might be a little bit oversized, but hey, I'd rather it be too big than too small. Now what I wanna do is smooth down some of these edges because it's so sharp. And since our knees are gonna be up underneath the dash a little bit, I wanna make sure that this is completely out of the way so and smooth down so it doesn't really have a chance of hurting you. Here's how things are going with the leash board and I'm pretty pumped about it. So wiring's going really well. It just makes it so freaking easy. I just can't believe it. Now I am gonna be zip tying all these together and putting wire loom over them just to get it really, really cleaned up. Obviously it looks like a mess right now, but let me tell you, having this is so much better than having this rat's nest down here. Time to put the motor back in this car. I've been grinding on this wiring for like the past three days. And it's finally getting to a point where the next step is to put the motor in the car and start wiring up things like the water pump, the radiator fan, the trans fan, things like that. I've got all the wires ran. I've got all of the dash and the relays set up. Let me show you what we got going on here. All right, looking a lot better than what was going on down there before. I still need to add a bunch more zip ties to kind of tighten everything up. But basically the gist of it is positive terminal, ground terminal, I have it grounded to the body. I also have this ground going back to the battery. Boop. These are the relays for the race pumps. And then on each one of these, we have a starter. We have the street fuel pump. We have the radiator fan, the air, the water, the trans fan, and the water pump up front. This would be the intercooler pump. So all of this is for my lights. All of these are the inputs for the relays. And these are a bunch of ignition sources. So anytime I flip on the main power, it's gonna turn on things like the rugged radio. It's gonna turn on, um, I don't know, just a bunch of other stuff. Here she is, the heart going back in. All I gotta do is hook it up to these motor mounts right here, one on either side, and then the motor will be in and I can wire some stuff up and keep rolling. It's got the motor back in. It's been a couple months. I can show you hasn't it? It's been like two months. It's been like a month and a half. All right, motor's back in. Got a lot of wiring left to do here. Got a lot of adjustments to do on the turbo kit. I got new V bands. I got, what else I got? Oh, I'm switching over the radiator to AN coolant lines. Uh, I got to wire everything and then get the intake back on. Lots to do. Boys were just giving me a hard time about not putting the O-rings on the valley cover the last time I put this car together. Well, this time they're giving me crap and you know what? This block doesn't have them. Doesn't have the need for them. Look at this. So on the old one, the oil would come up to each one of these seats. I needed to have this O-ring that I didn't put in last time. But on this block, I don't have to have them. Putting the valley cover back on, ran into a small issue. I stripped out one of the bolts that are screws that hold on the belly cover. And I was talking right here, and I was talking to the guys, and I said, is it really that big of a deal? But Zach was saying, if we ever need to pull the head off, especially when we're in a tight situation, it'd be nice to have the belly cover off at the same time to inspect anything that's going on. So I used this same tool in dentistry, believe it or not, to back out a stripped bolt or screw and so what I did is I drilled down the center. Now I'm gonna try and reverse this baby out. But before we do that, I wanna get any of this metal debris free and clear so that none of it goes down into the block when I pull that screw out. So let's get some brake cleaner and squirt that out. CarQuest, it's the best. Do you think you got a better brake cleaner? Let me know in the comments because I really like this stuff. Okay, so let's put the reverse threader on. Now again, I told you I use this tool on dentistry whenever I need to remove a uh, screw out of the middle of an implant that's stripped. Luckily, I don't have to do it very often, but in the kits it looks a little bit different than this one. All right, we're getting ready to go here. Let's see if we can back this screw out. Oh, there she goes. 
Perfect. Look at that. Just like in dentistry. <laughs> okay, so I've got a replacement here. Actually, it's in my pocket. And the LSX block, the valley cover bolts are actually a lot longer in comparison to the one that came off of the Gen 4 block that I had in the, uh, in the, uh, in the car before. And there's an extra half inch there at least. So I'm gonna put this longer one and all the other ones are longer. I don't know how the shorter one got in the mix. I think it's because I had somebody hand them to me while I was doing it, but let's get this thing right and then keep moving forward. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.